Welcome back to another story time with Aaron and today I'm gonna bring you guys to my fifth grade year of school and a little game that I used to play whenever I was bored and I did this a few weeks during the school year I'm not gonna lie it was too grand and um, you know if you feel brazen enough I dare you to play this game at school too just if you get caught, don't blame me. Actually, yeah, blame me. Tell them you, you heard it from the YouTuber. <laughs> Let's get right into it. So this all came to me on a Friday. I was like, you know what? I miss I miss some class, you know, either go into the bathroom. I love downtime when I'm not having to learn or even just daydreaming looking out the window. It's all the same to me. I love it. I love it. I love it. So... It's only meaningful enough that I come up with the game of how to stay out of class, right? So I thought of it on a Friday. I was like, okay, my plan is in one week to collectively miss the amount of hours of one day of school. So out of five days, I would spend one day completely out of class, whether that be in the bathroom or up in the office or outside or just walking around i was going to take one day out of the five completely out of the equation so the next monday i make a uh, a card in the back of my notebook that that it has all the hours that i need to complete which i went to school from eight to two o'clock or eight to two thirty and we're going to knock off the 30 because 10 minutes of that is break and the other 20 is for lunch and nobody wants to miss those two times. So we're looking at six hours to work with throughout five days. That's a little over an hour and 12 minutes um, a, a day, right, that I would have to uh, skip. And, you know, I could do like two hours in one day. You know, I wasn't confound to doing that exact like hour and 12 or hour and 13 minutes a day type deal right so i broke it up i had six classes in a day and i was like okay all i need to do is miss a little over 10 minutes in each one of the classes to equal up to the amount of time that i need to miss each day so i started out on monday and i kind of just you know i was kind of new to it I, I would go to the bathroom and i would take a very long time to get back or i'd go and get water and kind of get lost in the school you know i think we've all i get lost on the way back to the classroom everyone loves first days <laughs> And then, about midweek, it came to me. I had a much better idea, and that was to use the school to my advantage. I told the teacher, my first teacher, I was like, oh, I'm not feeling too well. I think I might need to go see the nurse. She's like, okay, okay, go up there and just come right back. That instantly took about 30, 40 minutes out of the class completely um and you know the class was almost over I, I pretty much missed the class right so i was like yes that took a huge chunk out and then at the end of the day in my last class i was like oh yeah i had to go and see the nurse this morning and i just she said for me to come back and i didn't even go back right i just literally i think i went outside and sat down on a bench and just really enjoyed that time off but it's horrible. I know you guys come up with your own creative ways. I use like the bathroom, of course, and and like went to go get water. And I even used the crafty nurse's office. Didn't come up with anything else. I did meet my end goal by the end of the week. In fact, I missed a little over a full day of school. It was like a day of, of classes and like a break or the lunch. And I was so proud of myself. I did it a few more times during the school. You know, I didn't want to do it too much to arouse suspicion. You can't be missing all the time. But if you guys think that's crazy let me lay this one on you one of my good friends um he used to get migraines a lot he was constantly out of school either being sick or having a migraine and our senior year we looked back at his entire we were like looking at basically what we've done in school since we were a wee little lad <laughs> And he collectively missed days from kindergarten until 12th grade. He missed a full year of school. The full amount of time he missed just from being out collectively from kindergarten to 12th grade. So basically he went through his entire uh, elementary school education lacking one year. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me go. Let me know what you guys think down below. Tell me if you're gonna do this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.
Who doesn't want to see their name at the end of every video? Make sure to check out the Patreon link in the description if you would like to be a part of the club.